What's up, Internet? Senior Book here. Welcome to the final video in this haul series. This is a Goodwill haul. Everything that you see here has been thrifted. Nothing was bought brand new. It's all been lightly used or heavily used or... I don't really buy destroyed stuff, but I buy a lot of tie-dye, and you're going to see that. So hopefully you're prepared for a very long video, because this is going to be a very long video. Grab your snacks. I got my healthy snacks here. Grab your drinks. I got my healthy drink here. <sighs> Yum. <laughs> Alright, so before we get into this haul, you probably saw it on the thumbnail. Not the thumbnail, the title, because my thumbnails are lacking. The title for this video will have around the total, I'll probably put like 450, but the actual total of everything that's here minus a few of these shoes is $467.87 according to all these receipts. So thank you Goodwill for like really killing it in the game. <laughs> You guys rock. I like Goodwill. I like uh, just meeting people in Goodwill. I love the customers. I love the employees. Sometimes you walk into Goodwill, they've got drinks and food for sale. Uh, most of the time you're just going to find some clothes and toys and accessories. But one Goodwill I went into, and this uh, just a little bit of Goodwill pro tip, always ask about a rewards program. Because if you're coming in from out of town, or even if it's your local Goodwill, you might not know about a brand new rewards program. And this is a, a rewards card from the Mount Juliet kind of Nashville area of Goodwill. So, yeah, I've got at least one. And in my wallet, I've got more punch cards. Like, another Goodwill in Newport, Tennessee has a punch card. It's crazy. So, I've been, like... Goodwill road tripping and some of these are from my local Goodwill which is walking distance from my house but a majority of these items come from far far away. There's been some road trips recently where rather than just taking the interstate I took the back roads and went through the little towns and in every little town there's a freaking Goodwill so it's perfect. Goodwills also have bathrooms in them, most of them so Use Goodwills as your rest stops as you're going around. Goodwills normally in like a, a strip mall of other good stuff too, so yeah, check it out. If you don't know about Goodwill, you're about to find out. Because I'm going to tell you. So, start with the first item, the elephant in the room, the giant Nerf gun. This thing caught my eye and I could not turn it down. This was only three dollars. Three doll hairs. It is a automatic rifle. <laughs> It's a Nerf automatic rifle with a clip. I would shoot it for you, but the batteries that came in it were dead, and I need to replace them. If you're curious about these guns, there's some good YouTube tutorials where, like, this comes out and it holds four C batteries. Those really big, thick ones you could, like, whack somebody with. So, yeah. Very cool. Uh, I have a Nerf gun collection. Let me pull one out right now. <laughs> These little six shooters they sell at Walmart are um, great. <laughs> They're great. Wonderful for um, uh, conflict between you and a loved one. Just hand them a gun and run across the room and start shooting them. And they'll shoot you back and you'll forget why you were fighting in the first place. So we'll put that over there. That's just, I love that. But let's just get into some of the other things. Uh, these are on top, so let's grab them. We're just gonna go through everything. Nothing is in any kind of order, except I've got a, something special saved for the end, so stick around for that. We've got some hats here. Um, if you saw my most recent haul video for my Nike video, I'm literally wearing the same outfit, but I unboxed this hat. This hat's brand new. But these are all used hats that I found. This one's probably the most, like, interesting. Uh, I found a bunch of other NASCAR hats when I found this one and sold them in the same day. They were like Earnhardt and Earnhardt Jr. hats, so those sell like hotcakes. This one didn't sell that, that well, but it's kind of cool. I kind of like it. It's signed by, uh, what is his name? He's the double zero driver, David Rudiman. David Rudiman. 
All right. <laughs> who still races in the NASCAR series, sometimes in the late model series, but uh, never won a championship, did race in the Premier Sprint Cup series in 2011. And this hat is like brand new, uh, doesn't have any of the tags. Whoever wore this might have wore it once and just ripped the tags off, but it's still got the cardboard liner, but it is signed. Like, you find the craziest shit at Goodwill. But moving on, this is just a normal flat bill hat. It was probably worn, uh, just somebody just didn't take the stickers off of it. Is the Atlanta Diamondback baseball team. I think I'm learning that right. It is definitely a new era 5950 hat. Uh, I'm a big fan of these kind of hats, so yeah, I had to grab it. Definitely worth more than $3, and that's how much most hats sell for at Goodwill. This was found in the NASCAR hall as well. Brand new with tags, uh, less than $2, less than $3. An Earnhardt Jr. hat, you can't go wrong with Jr. Got a lot of other Jr. stuff in here and Earnhardt stuff, so you'll be excited to see that if you're an old NASCAR fan. Thumbs up. Thumbs up this video, let me know you're watching. And we've got an old Mitchell and S snapback, and there's some of these snapbacks are worth a pretty penny, sometimes they're worth 20 or more dollars and to buy this for less than a few dollars at the goodwill i was stunned it's in this denim that really feels like denim with like a bleach wash all over it it's a new york knicks the new york knicks is a basketball team it's got the nba logo and hardwood classics on the inside this thing has been loved worn quite a few times but all it needs is a good like scrubbing with a brush and it's a brand new hat for you or a friend as a gift. Talk about a great gift giving occasion is just going to a Goodwill. You see something that you like, just get it. Let's um, start with these hangers. So most of the stuff that's in the bags here are things that came straight from Goodwill. These hangers, the clothes that are on these hangers are clothes that I purchased from Goodwill and have just been enjoying. Like I've already washed them and worn some of them. A large majority of the clothes that I'm picking up at Goodwill uh, is for an upcoming website that I'm going to resell vintage and thrifted materials. It's kind of like this one. This one might end up on there. I wore this once, might give it, give it to the people, sell it to the people. It's a Nike, authentic Nike shirt. It's not dry fit, but it's just a nice Nike shirt. If, I will if you will. Sounds kind of provocative, like all Nike shirts. This one really speaks to me. This is a Plato's Closet employee's t-shirt. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Thumbs up to that message. And we've got, like I said, Junior. This one, I found one of these out of the Goodwill and one at a yard sale. So this is kind of a common print, but it's still like very nice. Early Earnhardt Junior racing scheme in that red with a number eight. Right after he I guess decided to be more kid-friendly and take Budweiser off his car. Props to him for that, I guess. We've got an Element Skateboarding Dip Dye Tie-Dye t-shirt. I really like this one. I'm a big fan of tie-dye. We've got a Keep Austin Weird. This is from Austin, Texas. I actually bought one of these when I was down in Austin visiting RTX. And then found another one in the thrift. You can't go wrong. I paid $25 for that shirt in Austin. $1.99 for that shirt in Goodwill. And uh, Goodwills always have these like crazy tag sales. Like you just walk in there, oh, everything's with the blue tags half off. So some t-shirts like this was like 99 cents. You can't buy a 99 cent t-shirt at Walmart. No matter how hard you try. And Walmart's about the cheapest thing you can get around here. Not even at the dollar store you can buy shirts for less than 99 cents. And this is tie-dye from a unique location, Pensacola, Florida. Shout out my boy, Stephen Bradley, living down there, living out them hurricanes. <laughs> Moving on, we got a wonderful, almost dry fit feel, Asics running shirt. It's got the Asics logo on the back. I was very stoked on that because I have one pair of Asics and they are orange. Shirt matches perfectly. Speaking of Asics and running, it's a tank top made basically for running. This one's kind of large, but it's a tank top. It fits anybody. On to more of this orange color scheme. I wonder if the camera's picking up this color. This is a 
Shit, don't let me mess this up. Is this... It's not Kobe Bryant. Is it Kobe Bryant? This is Kobe Bryant. Maybe. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I'm learning more and more about sports, but this is a dry fit Nike shirt, and I just love the color combination, the embroidered check on the sleeve, and these quotes all over it. It says, I always dreamed of being a basketball player, a dream that only I believe in. I honestly don't play basketball, but if I did, that'd be nice. We've got a simple, clean, essential Nike t-shirt. It's not dry fit, it's just a cotton t-shirt with the embroidered Nike logo. Very nice for $1.99. Call back to my old video game days. Remember when this channel was all about video games? Shit, I haven't picked up a controller in a minute. But this is my childhood. Freaking Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2. You know any noobs I pwned on this shit? Shouldn't curse, I'm sorry. Don't demonetize me, YouTube. That's a joke. This video is not monetized, yeah. This is um, one of a few shirts that I picked up in, um, in the thrift recent near me it's like somebody took their good their uh gamestop material like all the shirts gamestop gave them and just gave them to goodwill because i found that i found a halo shirt i found uh assassin's creed button down shirt uh, an assassin's creed like collared shirt uh, just a bunch of crazy stuff this is probably one of the more high fashion things that i've seen at the goodwill um it helps to know about brands and other materials so it's like you're just passing through the racks there's thousands of items you got to know some stuff by touch and when i grabbed this i was like whoa that's really soft and i pull it out i see that little shark logo i'm like oh shit this is greg norman like uh golfing gear this is a half zip long sleeve meant to keep you warm fits me perfectly I really like this one. It's got some wonderful detailing. It says Greg Norman on the little zipper aglet thingy there. Zipper's in great condition. Something you always want to check for in the thrift as well is the condition of the materials that you're buying. You don't want to buy damaged materials or anything like that. But yeah, so let's move on to the rest of these Goodwill items that are in the bag. Most of this stuff is very recent, so I'm going to be pulling it out like with a big smile on my face, like, oh yeah, I remember this. As soon as I saw this, I washed it and started wearing it. I'm a big fan of anything outer space themed. That's just like a theme that'll never grow old to me. So this is just a very thin, um, almost t-shirt material hoodie. And it does have a front hoodie pocket and both of the aglets are still there on the front. So I was very pleased with this. It doesn't stink. Something you always need to pay attention to in the thrift. It's like, does it smell like feces? Another pro tip for the thrift, hand sanitizer. Can't stress that enough. We got another tie-dye here. This is a very small tie-dye. I've been like just buying every tie-dye that I see at Goodwill just because it's so cheap. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. Uh, I would love to sell somebody this shirt if they would like to wear it, but at the same time, I could just cut this material up and turn it into something. And that's maybe what I'm going to do. Uh, pay attention to the channel, and you'll be alerted for anything that's coming up. Definitely follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, at Senior Whoopi, and at Zach Holmes on Facebook. This shirt is inside out. Let me turn it inside out for you. So I was wearing this one day and somebody asked me if it was an actual Lollapalooza shirt and I was like, what? No, no, this is like a band shirt from some high school. But I can totally see how he thought that. It says uh, Palooza right there and you can't even see the letters here because it's in the white. But yeah, this is like somebody's band t-shirt. It says Peace, Love, and Band. But how can you pass up an American flag-esque tie-dye like this? This is just so cool. So when I saw it, I had to buy it. It says Bandapalooza on the back. There's no date. It does say uh, Gallatin Fairview Spring. It's got like all these like um, West Kentucky, Eastern Kentucky, Eastern Tennessee, and Western Virginia schools on there. That's about the district that I bought that in. 
So moving on, we're just in tie-dye territory right now. We're moving through them quick. We've got another tie-dye. What is this? Top Sail Island in North Carolina. This is like a lot of what you'll find in the thrift. Uh, people go on vacation and they'll buy a t-shirt, sometimes a tie-dye t-shirt, and they'll just never wear it. And they'll be like, okay, it's time to just donate this. And then there's tie-dyes like this that you find in there. And somebody made this. Like somebody took time with their friends or alone and bought materials, bought a t-shirt, or had a t-shirt and tie-dyed it. I'm just a big fan of this over-dyed tie-dye. And it's like it's a brand new uh, Gillian White t-shirt. It's like it has not been wear, been worn. <laughs> it's just really good condition. So that one will be up for sale or it will be in the materials bag. We got another kind of faded, but very nice black, green, red, and yellow Rasta tie-dye with the peace symbol on it. Peace bros. All right, moving on. Got some of my old alma mater, my skate teams, the Etnies Skateboarding Company. They made skateboard shoes back in the early 90s. They still make shoes today, and you'll see some people wearing those shoes. Got a loose string there, gotta clip that off. But yeah, couldn't pass this one up. Got the little Etnies logo on the back. Awesome, navy blue. Takes me back to my childhood. Anything with like Element Skateboarding, Etnies, Osiris, DC Shoe Company. That was that was my jam. I rode zero skateboards back in the day. Uh, still got my zero skateboard. On to something a little bit more colorful. This is an O'Neill. Very nice uh, swim trunks. Now a lot of people have like stipulations like, oh man, how can you buy swimwear from uh, Goodwill? Somebody might have worn those naked. Well, man, just like open them up and look at them. Does it look disgusting? Don't buy it. This looks like somebody bought it and it was just in the wrong size and they never wore it. So am I just gonna scoop that up? Yeah, I'm gonna scoop that up. So this comes with one pocket on the back, it's Velcro. It's very, very lightweight, very colorful, just like me. But moving on, uh, let's stay on that. Uh, no, never mind, let's just, keep, let's just keep moving on. Got a lot of trinkets I buy at uh, goodwill as well among cups and different items like this. This is one thing that I found is couldn't pass it up. 25 cents. It's like a yard sale sometimes. Goodwill has like everything from like purses to little bags. This is like somebody's little makeup bag. I wonder if you can see it in the light here but it is a black holographic uh, flake. It's just really cool. I take a backpack with my stuff in it to work every day with food and other items in it that I may need throughout my day. And I'm constantly sifting through that, looking through my stuff. So I'm gonna use like little makeup bags like that to help keep the things organized. We got two fanny packs here. These are brand new, never used. We got the King Dale Earnhardt Sr. and his son, the one and only Junior. Two fanny packs here. I'm probably gonna keep this one. Black goes with everything, and this, the old Intimidator is so cool. Probably let this one go. You'll see it on the upcoming website, now, which I'm going to talk more about here in the end. That is uh, thriftjesus.com, a big cartel website for hosting products. And, yeah, I'll talk more about that in the end. But, yeah, I'm the Thrift Jesus. You can call me that. My nickname in high school was Jesus. Speaking of high school, we've got a wonderful tie-dye here. I love this. It's got these huge bright colors under this green here. The green stretches across the whole t-shirt. It's like somebody bleached a green shirt with tie-dye and then filled in the bleach with white. So cool. It says Jefferson County High School and it's got all these people's names on them. It's in pretty good condition. It's like somebody got that from high school and just didn't wear it. Moving on, moving on, we've got a black t-shirt. This is a I think it's a vintage t-shirt. I'm learning more and more about vintage materials and I know if you see a Star Wars shirt and it's just got like a screen printed washing instruction on the inside, that probably came from Walmart or some store along that nature. But an old tag like this, like a Star Wars tag, leads me to believe that this might be from the early 90s or, or, or earlier. It has the 
uh, current moods of Darth Vader, happy, sad, angry, frustrated. Gotta love Darth Vader. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, the last uh, signed item that I found, a signed memorabilia item, this is a Harlem Gro Globetrotters uh, tour tee, the 2015 tour tee. On the back, it's got all these countries that they went to, and on the front, it's got a Harlem Globetrotter. I love the Harlem Globetrotters. When they were in that episode with uh, Scooby-Doo, I was like, ah, oh, this is so cool, this is so cool. And this one is signed on the front and on the back by two people that I don't know. This one says Beast 23. Shout out Mr. Beast. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I definitely need to research the names on there. Uh, I had to research David Rudiman to figure out his signature, but I know nothing about the Harlem Globetrotters other than they were in Scooby-Doo Once Upon a Time. But moving on, uh, let's see here. Got something a little bit more conservative, a little bit more for the working class people. I wear these shirts all the time. I've got two short sleeve versions of this, and this is a little big on me, but I could wear this and rock it. It's a like PFG style Columbia, kind of a dry fit polyester, really breathable. It's got breathable holes in the back here with mesh on the inside. This is just a very comfortable shirt. It's got uh, buttons on the front pockets, and shit. Something that you notice after the fact. Burn holes. That's trash. I don't know if I'll be able to sell that. Uh, another thing that they've got a lot of at Goodwill is toys. Uh, if you're having trouble babysitting some children, just take them to Goodwill. They might find something that they want. Um, just make sure you sanitize everything that you buy because toys from Goodwill are notoriously dirty, as well as the clothes. This little plushie caught my eye, as well as a big Thomas the Tank Engine plushie. You can imagine it barely fit in my arms. I sold that like the same day. But this one didn't sell. I still got it. My wonderful little Shopkins donut. A little, uh, like, you put your hand over its face and body. It just looks like a donut plushie, which is cool. I like donuts. Especially like those, like, Homer Simpson style donuts. All right, moving on. We got some denim and some jeans and stuff like that. These are guest jeans. And yes, you can find designer in the thrift often. These have the wonderful little guest tag on the inside. Condom pocket. That's always what I call these little pockets. T let me know in the comments what you call those pockets. But yeah, I like those. Whenever you're buying denim, definitely check the backs for holes right here where people shove things in the back pockets and just ruin them. But these are in my size. I really like uh, having some choice denim to wear, and these are in pretty good nick. Most of the time, you'll see the bottoms are quite frayed, but these are just frayed just enough. Just enough for my liking. So we'll move on from that. We've got some, probably, I hate to say it, but probably my favorite pants company denim and khaki company is American Eagle. And when I find American Eagle in the thrift, I feel blessed because I bought brand new American Eagle. I've bought Plato's Closet American Eagle, which is a great place to find it if you're ever looking for it and just can't find it. Go to Plato's or Buffalo Exchange, places like that. But I found these in my size, a 30 and a 31 size. I got another pair in here, I'll show them to you. But you just can't go wrong with a few pairs of khakis. These are a little bit darker, more of almost a denim feel to these. They're also American Eagle, very clutch. Very crucial. It's like these were brand new too. Somebody had never worn these. Just bought the wrong size. That happens sometimes. And getting into something just a little bit more crazy. I found this in the women's dress section, which is a testament to why you should check every single section. Check the women's section, check the men's section, check the children's section. Hell, if you're a small size like me, I'm not that small, but I'm kind of small. I can fit into some extra large youth clothing. And this, I don't think it's youth, but I don't know what it is, but it, I know it's a pizza, a pepperoni pizza freaking onesie. Like, what? Where do you find this shit? At, like, Spencer's or something? I don't know. It's got a hood. It's got these cuffs on it. 
It does not have feedies, which is kind of fine. I mean, can you imagine how dirty feedies would be from a Goodwill thrifted onesie? Nah. <laughs> All right, moving on. We gotta move on. We gotta go fast. Back to bandanas. This is something I found in like the suit section. It is a silk handkerchief in that bandana square. So I could use it as a bandana if I wanted to, but I probably won't. It's just a nice handkerchief to have. Have, have, have. You should always have a handkerchief. And if you don't feel like carrying a bandana in your pocket, get one of these from China. Cheap, effective. Uh, you never know what you could use that for. Back on to the NASCAR scene. We've got some essential Gordon gear here. We've got the Rainbow Warrior, Jeff Gordon. Let's say DuPont. Ref what does that say? DuPont Refinish Racing. DuPont Refinish. Down at the bottom, sometimes it will also help you out with how old these garments are. Down here at the bottom, it says copyright 1997, and I'm inclined to believe that. It definitely says made in USA. It is a Chase Authentics medium. You've got this wonderful helmet here, his racing uniform, that fire suit in that rainbow color. Very stoked on that one. That one will be available on the website because I have plenty of racing gear. Don't need any more. Speaking of racing gear, we've got a Honda, Honda Power racing t-shirt. This is their motorcycle racing division. It has another logo on it somewhere. Where is it? Is it on the back? Yeah, it's on the back. On the back it says Metro. I don't know what that means. And on the inside it says Metro Racing. I'd have to believe that this probably came from like a Rue 21 or something along those lines where they sell branded material like that, but oh well. I like Honda. I have a nice Honda hat that that matches, so I might just keep that in the co collection. On to some more essential gear. This is a Jordan shirt. Matches some of these Jordans in the back here. Yo! So we got this Jordan Air, very reminiscent of the Jordan Supreme t-shirt that came out not that long ago, a few years ago. But this cotton is so soft, almost a dry fit, almost dry fit technology, but it's not, it's just a real thin, wonderful, essential black cotton t-shirt. Will go with any of your Jordans, especially these right here. Let me just start showing off these shoes because we're on the subject of Jordan. I found these not that long ago in a, I can't lie, I found these in a Plato's closet. So it's not necessarily a Goodwill exclusive video, but definitely thrifted. These were about uh, just under $30. I think I was like 28 bucks for a pair of infrared sixes. Sick. And I looked them up online and in that condition, they're going for about 50 to 60 bucks. So yeah, then we got another two pairs of Jordans back here. We've got the Jordan 11 Lowe's in the emerald green colorway. Uh, these released like less than two years ago. And I remember seeing somebody wearing these at the mall and I was like, whoa, you already have those? He's like, yeah, man. I've got some Jordan shoe trees in there to keep these nice and pristine. They do have a little bit of creasing, but that's what happens when you wear your shoes. Definitely got these at the same Plato's on the same day. I think these were 35. That's still a pretty good deal for shoes. I don't want to pay much more than that, but for a pair of Jordans like this, they retailed at what, two, 220? So uh, I could resell those easy peasy to the right person for 50 plus dollars. And moving on to sh these shoes, hopefully can go for about a hundred, but they were uh, sold at around the same price at the same Plato's closet. It's just a lucky Plato's day. Uh, these are the Legend Blue 11s in the high top. They've got the icy bottoms, the blue carbon fiber. It's something you have to be careful about buying Jordans in the thrift is fake Jordans. Those other two, I feel like those are real. Um, the leather feels high quality on them. Everything else checks out. These leave me sus, just a little bit sus. Like the quality of the leather here is not 100. The quality of the leather here is not 100. Um, this jump man on the back is like stitched in kind of poorly. Uh, the comfort is 100 though, and when you pull out the inner soles, the, the stitching on the inside is white, so 
if you know anything about um, counterfeit Jordan 11 Legend Blues, please let me know. Please take a look at these and tell me what you think. Uh, don't be afraid to leave me a comment. I respond to every single comment if given the opportunity. So, yeah. On to these. These last two are definitely from a Goodwill. I got these. These are the... Oh, shit. I think they're called the Magnum running shoes or the Mag Magenta running shoes. But they're in this wonderful orange to yellow color scheme. I tried. Tried to fit my foot in these. No go. So I bought these uh, a little too quick-like. But... Uh, I am in the business of reselling thrifted items, so this will be available on the website at a good deal. It'll come shipped in a box, kind of like this, and yeah. Hopefully when you get those, you'll be very happy, and hopefully they work out for you. They are a little bit used. You can kind of see that from the inside check mark and the outsole, but they're like at a, I put these at an eight or almost a seven in condition just because there's no like real damage, no creasing or anything like that. These on the other hand have been loved quite much. I'd put these more at like a six or lower. These are in this awesome aqua berry color scheme. These are like a women's seven. Uh, just couldn't say no to these. Um, both of these shoes were very affordable. I think those were like $7 and these were like four. Um, most of the time shoes at Goodwill, women's shoes are cheaper for some reason, even though they're both just shoes. Goodwill, come on. Uh, women's shoes are normally like $3, and men's shoes are like 5 But just be careful, because some Goodwills are taxing on you, and they'll just charge you outrageous prices for some of these shoes. So we got two more shirts in this bag. Let me show off this bag. I found this at a Goodwill. This is a collapsible bag. It zips down on itself. It turns into a shoulder bag. You can put your water and stuff, your phone in here, and then you get to the Goodwill, woof, fill it up with stuff, and then walk home. At least, that's what I did. Stoked on this one. It, it was brand new when I found it. Let me see if I can show this off to the camera. It has a Sears tag on it. <laughs> it says, uh, from December of what year, I don't know. But Sears, how cool is that? It's got these, like, hard uh, plastic dividers in it that helps keep things together and I repurposed the strap off of another bag so we got a strap we gotta carry that strap all right on to the last few items we got this last bag here and a few items here then I'll get on to what's going on over here it's starting to get hot in here losing my voice mm. hopefully you guys are enjoying some snacks with me Enjoying some drinks. I'm going to check the camera real quick. Make sure we're still recording. Oh, God. I almost knocked over my drink just then. i got to be very careful. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Back to my seat. Back to my seat. We're almost... We're in the home stretch. We're in the home stretch, Internet. Move through real quick. Knox Prize. Knoxville, Tennessee. Home of the University of Tennessee. Very... Nice tie-dye. Definitely from like a big manufacturer of tie-dyes, but cool nonetheless. And then back to the home style tie-dyes. This is very small. This one doesn't fit me very well. At least I don't think it will, but it says large. I think it's been shrunk a little. I'm still just a big fan of this abstract kind of Warhol style tie-dye art. So, clutch. On to the next bag. This I don't know if you want to believe it or not, but I bought all this yesterday. I shouldn't have, but I did. So we've got a triple shooter Nike, not Nike, Nerf Elite, the Triad EX3 gun. And it works. It works really well. The only thing that's funny about it is it doesn't shoot real darts out of it. Like the real Ni uh, Nike. <laughs> it doesn't shoot the real Nerf darts out of it. I've got some of these like blue valentine or something what are they called little valentine on uh, instagram not instagram what, is, what am i going to think about <sighs> the bullets that i use in those came off of amazon it's a company called little valentine and they make um replica nerf darts and they're much cheaper so 
Uh, if you're looking into getting into Nerf and you want a bunch of bullets, that's that's what you should go for. If I can remember, I'll link it in the description among a million other things, including my upcoming website. There's a cat outside. I don't own a cat. We're going to carry on. We've got, um, this is in the drink cup section. I was like stoked to find this and I opened up the lid and it's brand new. I was like, yep, gotta buy this. This is an Earnhardt Sr. with the Intimidator himself on there. Only one dollar. One doll hair. And it was a blue tag, so it was half off. It was like 50 cents. <laughs> oh, man. We've got, also, speaking of blue tags, we've got some blue Ray-Bans here. Can't go wrong with that. Some Goodwills will have a VHS, DVD, and some will have a cassette tape section. I found this, the Pocahontas sing-along, with six tracks from the motion picture. If you don't know... Pocahontas has an amazing soundtrack. You should go and check it out. If it's been a while and you haven't seen it in a minute, definitely go check it out. We've got a little bag of goodies here. Um, sometimes people will just donate boxes of trinkets and depending on how Goodwill takes it, they might just put the whole trinkets out there for kind of like a sale, like a $2 a piece or a dollar a piece. I bought a lot of things in this bucket that were like keychains, like um, Marvel and Disney related stuff. I was very stoked on a lot of this stuff. We got a little pop figure of Thor here. Among this is just like, um, <laughs> we've got the mystery machine. There's just too much to go over in here, but um, something that I never find these at the thrift, but these are gen this is definitely a genuine Disney pin, and I'm hoping to trade this with somebody for either cash or another Disney pin that I like. But this one's really cool. It's like a double-sized, oversized pin. Very cool. And these, I need to do more research on them. I think they look a little sus. They might be fake, but if they're real, holy shit, and I found these in the thrift for like the lady charged me, I bought three of these, let me pull the other ones out, so you can see them, and maybe if you know about Disney pins, please let me know, leave a comment down below, tell me what you think, here is Disney pin number two, and the last one is right here, there's only three left, and on the back there's these little like Disney arts as well, with Mickey on them, but I'm a big fan of pins right now, just been getting into collecting pins, so very stoked to get that. So we'll put that over here to the side. There's a bunch of like keychains from around the world, Galveston Island, uh, more Galveston, Texas, Oklahoma. What's this one? The Millennium Falcon, hard metal, only a dollar ninety-seven. So I was stoked on that. Uh, let's see here. We got more clothes, but I'll get some of the trinkets that are on top. We got another holographic kind of like makeup bag. This one's brand new, never been used. Perfect. Just the way I like it. Most makeup bags will have dumped makeup in them, so got to be careful of that. And um, this is like a real treat to find these two items in the uh, media section of the last Goodwill I went to in Kingsport. We've got the Green Day Dookie album. 14 songs on it. What is my favorite song on here? Um, Chump. Definitely my favorite song on here. And Welcome to Paradise. So good. Oh, man. It smells brand new. It's like something you never see at a Goodwill. I think this one's in pretty good nick. It's got like some scuff. Not scuffs, but like uh, something on there. It just needs to be wiped down with a cloth, I think. But yeah, I... Couldn't be happier with this one. Very cool. Considering my car only takes CDs, this is essential. Essential. And this was 50 cents, thanks to it being a children's book. This is a Minecraft essentials book. Uh, <laughs> just like really topical right now with what's going on on PewDiePie's channel. If you don't know, 
then go check it out. If you like Minecraft, you'll enjoy the last 10 videos PewDiePie's release. I know I'm liking it, so. All right, moving on. These were some shirts that I picked up yesterday. I passed this by once, I had to go right back and pick it up because when do you see Lego t-shirts? Especially a men's size Lego t-shirt. It is probably a promo t-shirt because it says Barnes and Noble on the side. Might have been like an employee's t-shirt. Um, I don't know, but it's very soft. I'm gonna, gonna try and sell that one and hopefully double my money, which won't be hard because I only paid $2 for it. So if I can get five or more dollars out of it, I'll be stoked. And we've got more swim trunks here. These are a very nice but basic, uh, no frills pair of black swim trunks from the Juggernaut Columbia right there. It's got one pocket, a wonderful zip pocket on the back. Zipper works. It goes in the bag. It's got um, side pockets too, which is rare on swim trunks. I don't know why, but you know. Now this is not my alma mater, and I did not play golf, but when I saw this, I just couldn't say no. I did go to Science Hill when I was younger for a short period of time, about one year, and when I saw this, I was like, damn, that looks nice. It feels nice, too. It is definitely a Nike dry fit technology t-shirt, a collared shirt. I'm just a big fan. I'm a big fan. It's got ventilation in the pits. Just a really high-tech shirt. I like that kind of stuff. Moving on to more Nike. We've got some Nike sleepwear pants. I think these are uh, sort of vintage. I'm not too familiar with Nike vintage other than the white and red swoosh tag with black lettering is vintage. I think this is from the early 90s. It does say it was made in Pakistan. I don't know what that means, but probably means it was old before um, Desert Storm, probably. Uh, it's got pockets on the side and a button pocket on the back. And on the button it says, what does it say? BTN525. I don't know what that is. If you know what that is, let me know. If you know more about Nike stuff than me, which is, it's probable. I, I know my little bit of Nike knowledge is not great, but I'm learning. I'm learning more and more every day. We've got the final and third pair of swim trunks. I think I'm set for summer now. It's full-blown summer, so this is it. I really don't need to buy another pair of swim trunks, but these uh, caught my eye and I just couldn't say no. These are heavily used and distressed, but the inside, eh, just some heavy washing, and I wouldn't be afraid to wear these. You'd be fine. It says, on the side, it says DPM, Quicksilver, I think this was a collaboration with that company, DPM, because it's got the uh, another down another logo down here. It says DPM Quicksilver next to the pocket. It's got this crazy wild-haired dude on the button here, which is kind of weird because on the back side of this button is literally nothing. So the button does nothing. It's a Velcro pocket, and on the inside you can see what the original. Um, look was supposed to be. This is kind of faded now, but not damaged, which makes me happy. So we got one pocket on the side, another pocket over here with the same false button, and a working zipper with a mesh pocket in there as well. Really nice deep pockets too. Something very crucial for the water park, going to Disney water park or the Dollywood water park. Gotta have that. So we got a, another Volcom tee, it's the second Volcom tee I've shown off today. I love this American flag background for the diamond there. At the bottom it says, uh, youth against the establishment. Fuck yeah, man. I gotta stop cursing. Sorry, YouTube. <laughs> so this was just a, a good pickup. I was very happy to find that. Uh, another pro tip for anybody looking to get into thrifting the racks. The racks is the key. If you see somebody pull out a rack with clothes on it from the back, that means they've just been tagged, they've just been released to go out on the floor, and an employee's going to take them and put them on the racks. Uh, they're not going to be bothered 
unless they're disturbed, with you coming up and taking clothes off that rack, because that just means less work for them. And you're going to get to see clothes before any of the other customers see them. So definitely remember that. Racks is where it's at. So we have a brand new Cootie Browns tie-dye t-shirt. Cootie Browns is a restaurant here in Johnson City. I'm a, I think there's more than one location, but I'm only aware of one location, and all their employees wear tie-dye. Food there is pretty good. So, shout out to a Johnson City staple. So we got some <laughs> some awesome retro vintage vibes here with this aqua berry color scheme. We got the aqua and the purple and the puffins with the pink on the front standing in the middle of the ocean on a rock. Freaking Alaska. Yeah. <laughs> that shirt is very heavy, very big shirt. Uh, I could see my dad wearing that. He's got a real aquaberry vibe to him most of the time. He's wearing something purple, blue, or aqua. So, moving on to more Nike Dry Fit. This is a white Nike Dry Fit t-shirt. It's in pretty good nick. The armpits, something you need to look at at white t-shirts. Is it sweating? Like, is it destroyed with sweat? Something like that. I know I destroy a lot of my shirts with sweat. So you just got to look out for that. But this is a LeBron James t-shirt, just clean, simple. You got the Nike swoosh on the side here and that wonderful print. And behind the other letters is that same print, but with like a really heavy saturation of black. So it's just a really nice t-shirt. I love the design on the six. Um, I think that's from when he worked with the calves. I don't know. I'm not going to say anymore because people are just not going to be happy. <laughs> just don't know basketball that much. So we got a women's long sleeve. Kind of tie-dye tee. I saw this. Just could not say no to it. Very soft. Couldn't pass it up. That'll sell. Right? Fingers crossed. <laughs> and another women's piece here is a paisley tie-dye. Kind of faded. It says Smoky Mountains, Tennessee. It's kind of longer in the back than it is in the front. Kind of cut and sew right through the middle. I like this. This is just a really thick cotton t-shirt. The cracking and fading of the lettering is like just right. Just nice and distressed. What brand is this? Sky. This is a size small. This one will probably be available on the website. It's thriftjesus.com. Check it out. Hopefully I'll have it up very soon, and this will be an item on there. So, yeah, shout out to the Smoky Mountains, which is the location of the Sevierville, where I bought some Nike gear not too long ago. And we got the last item in this big-ass bag. This is a polo piece, and I'll talk a minute about uh, finding polo in the thrift. It is just unreal how much polo you can find in the thrift. Uh, this I found in the t-shirt section even though i think polos uh they're trying to move them to like the five dollar button down section which i try and focus on the t-shirts because they're so cheap easy turnaround good money but uh i was able to get this for a dollar 97 which is a steal because it is in my size um for stuff like this is a large with the red horseman on there just an essential winter piece Layer that under some clothes and you'll be good. We've got some more tie-dye. Not tie-dye. God, so much tie-dye. So we've got some more pieces here. This one was um, picked up at a yard sale. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. It was kind of an impulse buy. Probably shouldn't have bought it, but it was a dollar? I can make, I can sell this for two dollars. It says, who finished second? The joke is nobody cares. People only care who won the race, but this is a early NASCAR tee. It says full throttle, wide open NASCAR. It doesn't have any dates on it. It's a Tulex reverse care, made in the USA. So it's starting to get some of these like pills on the front. That's what this like is called, uh, pilling. When little bits of lint and other things accumulate in ball form on the clothing. That can ruin and completely devalue uh, some clothing, so just be careful of that. And 
Got two high fashion items here. I'll keep those for last. And these, I bought these and then noticed the stain in the crotch. So you ain't got to tell me in the comments about them. But this is a good like work pants. You could just destroy these, stain them even more. I might just tie dye them because they're already stained and they're white. Easy tie dye. These are like some biker shorts. They've got zip pockets on both sides. The zips work very well and a zip pocket in the back and all the zips are YKK zips. Something to look for in thrifted items if you want to know is this a high quality garment or not. Uh, when you start seeing YKK zippers, that's a tick in the high quality garment direction. So yeah, these are bicycle shorts with extra ventilation in the crotch area. And like I said earlier, I sweat way too much, so that's perfect for me. So these are the last two thrifted shirts here. And I got like one thrifted item there. I'll show you that at the end. More NASCAR stuff. We've got a Ralph Lauren uh, half zip, long sleeve, black. I have an affinity for these kind of things. Just because black goes with everything. And this is just super soft, high quality. It's got the Ralph Lauren thing on the zipper. I don't know what those are called, but that's not an aglet, but yeah. On the inside it says Polo Jeans Company. Very cool. This is a size medium. I would like to sell this on the website, but might just keep it. Mm, I don't know. 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 And moving on to the last item here, another high fashion item. We have another essential black polo piece here. Long sleeve black polo piece with cat hair all over it. Anyway, got the red polo man there, and it is a turtleneck. So shout out Steve Jobs. Um, <laughs> it is Ralph. It is Ralph though, Kanye. It is Ralph. So <laughs> I have worn this. Uh, I like the way it feels and lays on my body. So I probably will keep that one. But yeah, that is, that's the whole pile that was over here. Minus this. I picked this up yesterday as well, too, with a, a mirror. If you can imagine a mirror the same size as this, it was only a dollar. And this was five dollars. So, mm, hopefully I can get ten out of this, or I can get some oodles of use out of it. Because I do go to NASCAR races, not often, but maybe like once every year or something like that. Maybe less. And this is... Uh, you might know what this is if you're a sports fan. This is like a little cushion that you take with you to baseball, football, basketball games, NASCAR races, things like that. You put it down in your seat and then you sit on it and at the end of the three hour event, your ass is not like killing you. But the best thing about this seat is it's got like a thing to fold up so you, if it's wet, you don't have to sit in the wet. You can sit against this. It's got this uh, strap on the back here got a zipper here so you can change out the cushion if you'd like you can put your own stuff in there which I like that on this side here you've got a beer pocket because NASCAR on the so other side here you got a pocket for your snacks your Jack Link's beef jerky and then down here at the bottom you got a pocket for your uh, passes your uh, pictures and other things like that and then when I this is like the determining factor of why I bought this. I was like, oh man, that's really nice. But then I saw up here, it's like, the strap's gone. That's going to affect the value. Then I pulled this out. It's the strap. This thing has never been used. It's just like if somebody bought it and just sat it up as a display and never used it. And I am definitely a big fan of Mark Martin. Shout out Mark Martin. He is still alive, still kicking it. Couldn't, I couldn't say no to this. For five bucks, that's a must cop. Roush racing stuff. Okay, so that is just about everything minus these magnets here. So while I pull out these magnets, I'll talk about what I've got going on over here. Uh, so I stumbled upon a YouTuber on the internet who gave me the idea of to do what I'm doing now. His name is Paul Cantu. Shout out my boy Paul Cantu if you're watching this. Much love, brother. Peace and love. I'm going to come and see you in Houston, Texas, September 11th through the 16th. He's having a pop-up. Check it out. 
follow in Mr. Paul Cantu on Instagram and check out his YouTube channel, it's Paul Cantu. If you like thrifting, you're gonna love his video. So, look at this. This is why I bought these magnets. This is a Jamaica magnet. This is only 50 cents, so. No, it was a dollar, it was a dollar. But you get all these magnets in here and uh, my current hometown of Kingsport was in there, so that's kinda cool, I'll keep that. So yeah. Um, I was watching Mr. Paul Cantu's videos non-stop. Like, just could not stop watching them. And then I would go out and go thrift shopping. So I've got a shopping addiction and I really need to do something about it. And what I would like to do about it is bring this gear to the people. All this thrifted clothing, these tie-dyes, these snapbacks. I want to bring these to the people that it would bring the most joy to and the people that are, I guess, willing to pay to have me ship it across country to them. You could be anywhere in the world, and uh, I'm going to try and ship these items to you through my website if it's possible. So, there is this company, right? It's called BigCartel.com. They will host a store for you, and you can put your own items on there. It could be merch t-shirts for your YouTube channel. It could be other things like that, uh, custom sandals that you made, custom trinkets. I've seen everything from like handmade soaps on there. You just gotta follow the rules and regulations, go check it out. I'll put a link in the description so you can check it out yourself if you're wanting to make some money. Now, I'm not the only person on that platform that's selling thrifted gear. There's thousands of other people doing the same thing, but I like that, it's just, really cool we're repurposing and reusing these clothes and not just are we making money ourselves but like the title of this video said like I spent 450 plus dollars at Goodwill and Goodwill's not Salvation Army or even that super nice but they do give jobs to people that can't find jobs anywhere else and they 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 help they help the community more than a lot of other people do. Just giving somebody a salary and letting them work is like, wow, that's fantastic. So what I want to do is bring these items to you, the people. Now, I want to bring them to you in the best quality as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy the things like you just saw there. I am going to wash and then hang them. These are two items that I washed and are now ready to be processed through sale. We've got a jersey here. It says Black Magic on the front. This is like some kid's high school jersey. It is reversible. So it says Black Magic with the black and the yellow on the inside. I don't know what you'd want this for, but I bought it for super cheap, so I'm going to let it go for super cheap too. Hopefully I can put this on the site for like 3 to $4 uh, plus shipping, which... Bear with me, I'm trying to figure out shipping. Hopefully my shipping costs won't be any more than seven, eight dollars, maybe more for shoes, but if you know more about shipping than I do, please, again, leave a comment, DM me, follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, or Twitter, let me know. We got another one here, it says move your ass. This is a women's dry fit running tee in a size large. Definitely got this one at Goodwill. This one was at a yard sale. I do a little bit of both. Uh, more yard sales in the summer and Goodwills in the winter. But yeah, this one will also be on the website. Hopefully I can post this one for just five, maybe a little bit more, maybe ten. I can't remember. I might have paid more for this because it's in a dry fit technology. But yes, this is how they will be processed. They'll be hung up. I have a closet over here. My like walk-in closet is full of my own clothes. So this is like the coat closet in my apartment. You just walk in and the first thing you see is just like a closet full of thrifted clothing and it's packed to the brim I can't even pull anything more out of there or it'll just like fall apart so after this set this step comes this step which is where I will model the the clothing if I can I took some model photos in these and used my mirror setup that I had at the time. I've kind of updated my mirror setup, so hopefully I can take some good photos for the website and for Instagram uh, in the future, so keep an eye out for that. But yeah, I will model,
photograph and then put the clothes straight into the bag after like I'm not gonna wear them for more than a few seconds so they're clean they're washed I'm clean I'm washed I will take them off put them straight in the bag they're good to go and this is how I will ship them they will go inside a um, it's like a stamps.com uh, first class mailer and I will if I can I'm gonna put like a little sticker in there I'll write you a note you'll definitely have a description of your item how much you spent and the ability to send it back to me give you a return address if you would so like so that's just one item and I'll actually pull this item out because I'm really thrilled about this item and this item will be available on the website. So this is a thrifted tie-dye that I found, and I was stunned about the, finding this one. It is from the San Diego, California Zoo. On the front it says San Diego Zoo. It says charge at the bottom. And then on the back, <laughs> it's got the elephant's butt, and it says the end. Southeast Kinko's Inc. Now, I don't know if this was a promotion tee or what, but it definitely has the date 1996 down here on the bottom and on the front up here in the top left corner. And it does have this vintage -y feel to it. It's like somebody bought this, didn't wear it very often, and just put it up for the, the discount, for the sale, took it to Goodwill and just said goodbye. And then I found it. So yeah, this is kind of what I go for. Uh, I try to thrift clothing that I myself would wear and I would purchase from a store if given the opportunity. So yes, this is what you should expect to see on the Thrift Jesus website. Now, like I said again, just bear with me. I'm working on it. Uh, the more love and comments that you put down below, will help me to bring this dream to reality of where I can thrift, not just as like a side hustle, because that's kind of what it is right now. I'll buy these things and then through the limited amount of people that I know, I'll sell them. Uh, but there's some things that just people just don't buy. Some, somebody just don't want it. But I know somebody out there wants this shirt and I want to sell it to you. And this is a shirt that I would sell for around $10 or less. And I have a bag, a whole bag of shirts here that I've modeled and took pictures for. They're all tie-dyes of different shapes, colors, and sizes. This is Charleston, South Carolina. This is a handmade tie-dye that says the Pie Wars. Another handmade tie-dye, a machine tie-dye, a machine tie-dye, handmade tie-dye. It just never ends, y'all. So these are all going to be some of the first items that you'll see on the website. It'll be a majority of tie-dye and things like that. And then I will slowly start keeping in the Nike and Polo and stuff like that. Just got to get some of these items sold. I got so much stock right now and it just it's just got to go. It's got to go. So if you are in the market for some tie-dyes or some old skateboarding clothing or some sneakers or snapback hats basically things that you see me wear in my vlogs and my videos that's the stuff i'm going to be thrifting so it's all stuff that i like i will promise you that i'm not going to try and sell something that i wouldn't wear so hopefully you don't think my fashion's whack hopefully you uh think it's pretty cool and yeah god damn that was a long video y'all you still here thank you i thank you for still being here you mean the world to me you hear the cicadas outside it's currently cicada time here in tennessee it's just uh beautiful but yes, I am tired. I'm out of energy. My watch is out of energy too. It says 10%. I probably spent five hours recording now. Setting up the lighting, setting up the camera, which 
I'm still filming on an iPhone 6. Hopefully you can hear me. Hopefully this video hasn't been muffled or something. I'm still gonna upload it. Just try and put that content out there for y'all for y'all to enjoy. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for liking the video, subscribing, leaving those multitude of comments that I talked to you about. Uh, you can say whatever you want. Definitely leave a comment down below. If you think my fashion's whack, tell me. I know I don't match right now very well, but uh, I do have <laughs> a whole Coca-Cola outfit on, which I was kind of shamed for wearing earlier, but I think I like it. I like it a lot. I do have more Coca-Cola shirts that I would wear with this, but this was a, uh, a handmade tie-dye that I got from a friend in high school, and I've had it since then. And this shirt in the inside says it was made from recycled bottles, so that it, like adds to my hippie style too, so I like that. It's kind of distressed, it's getting some holes in it down here at the bottom, but we got the Coca-Cola shirt, we got the Coca-Cola shorts, got these in Las Vegas. Um, stay tuned for my Las Vegas vlog. I, it's been two months since I went to Las Vegas, and I've been slacking, I just cannot bring myself to finish editing that video because I took like a bunch of little clips and I'm trying to put them together and put music over them and it's so tedious. I, I would love to hire an editor. I would love to hire an editor. <laughs> Just put it that way. But yeah, we got the, the Coca-Cola socks. These also came from Las Vegas. And these Nikes, which if you are uh, been with the channel for a minute, you might have seen me unbox these. These have become some of my favorite Nikes to wear. And uh, I've got this little gold Nike, not Nike, uh, called Coca-Cola keychain, which goes perfectly with the black and the gold on the shoes. So I think with a black t-shirt, the outfit would look much better. And just uh, maybe a red hat. All right, I'm gonna go take a well-earned rest and clean up this disaster that happened. Let me just like pull the camera down and show you guys while my face is still in the frame because I'll end it from behind the frame. Guys, I love you. Ta-ra. Let me just show you uh, what's going on in the floor here. It's an hour long video, Jesus Christ. We're still recording, that's fantastic. We got all this stuff in the floor but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed making it for you i'm not trying to uh, show off or anything like that i'm just trying to show you what kind of things that you can find at the thrift and i can't tell you how many times i find something like this it just makes me smile like how cool is that so and tie-dyes, and pizza onesies. Oodles of happiness. Oodles. Still very soft on the inside. This came from Walmart, by the way. It smells new. Still gonna wash it. Don't trust nothing. Whew. But yeah, I'm plum tuckered out. If you're still watching this video now, why? I love you. I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully it's not an hour long, but I like making these nice long videos. I like watching nice long videos sometimes, and uh, it's been long overdue for me to make a nice long video. I'm glad I was able to make this for you today. Hopefully everything goes smoothly with the upload process and all that jazz. So, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go get some fresh air, listen to the cicadas, drink the rest of my green juice, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Ta-ra.